What's going on guys? Welcome back to a day in a life. So this is just going to be a quick little uh, video just to give you a quick update on what we got going. So what we started doing the other day, as you've seen, we had buffed down the boat, uh, started polishing out the gel coat, and um, taping off and painting uh, the bottom of the boat. So we did some uh, bottom paint and the gel coat. So let's take a little update and a look and see what we got going on here. Look at that. Nice and clean. I don't know if you can see the reflection. It's a little dark out. You can see the reflection on the bottom. Look at that. And look at that bottom coat. Look at that. Not too bad. Check the other side. Look at that. Look how nice that looks. I don't know, I kind of like that green. And in the back. So I kind of like that green. I think that really looks good. The old uh, bottom paint that was on there was like a dark like a forest green type thing or like a sea green or whatever and um, I don't know I just didn't really like the color I thought it was a little bit too dark and wanted something that kind of stuck out and popped a little bit more um, you know kind of looked maybe a little bit more sporty to it and I think that candy apple green because that's what that is that's a candy apple uh, no metallic in it or anything like that obviously it's just bottom paint um, but yeah, I like that. I think that would look good. You know, my thought was most water when you're in the water, the water looks a little greenish and dark. And um, I think that'll lighten it up pretty good. So that's what we got. Not too bad so far. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another day in the life. So today we're still working on the Stingray uh, boat that we got here and what we're going to do is just kind of show you a little bit of the progress that I've made so far, uh, where we're at and where we're going. Um, I did some of this off camera, uh, which I kind of hate to do because there's not a lot of stuff on YouTube documenting to do a lot of this. There's a lot of certain different things, but all right, well, let's see what we got. All right, so here we go. So this is what I got for a line up here, and this is what I'm thinking about doing. So if anybody has any comments, please leave them below, but this is something that I had an idea with. I hadn't seen it done, um, but this is the reason why. So let me show you what we got and why. So super clean, degreaser, obviously uh, that is to clean up around the engine and everything else. We already kind of sprayed it down with a little bit of... Uh, cleaner and got a majority of it off but I really want to give it a nice thorough um, degreasing and clean it up just so we can get down to uh, everything nice and neat as we work on it so moving along you see I have some uh, 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive so what this is is my plan I also have some rust-oleum satin ivory silk which I think that color pretty close matches the interior in the boat I also have some rust-oleum truck bed rhino liner so my plan now is I took the helm seat out I'm gonna take that bench seat out I'm gonna cut the bottom of this carpet here so I'm gonna cut this carpet along the seam nice and tight to the seam of the wall I'm going to remove this floor carpet. I'm going to leave the wall carpet up. I got the glue, this 3M glue here. So the part on the bottom, I can lift up the wall. I want to spray the glue along the bottom and lay that back down so it's sealed nice to the wall. That'll take care of that. Now, for the floor, once this carpet's all off, this floor is actually fiberglassed. So it's plywood with a fiberglass coat over it. Now, my thought is 
because I have some more epoxy and some more fiberglass, I want to go along and I want to strengthen up that floor. This is my thought. I'm going to strengthen up this floor, which the floor is pretty solid. It doesn't really need it. But seeing how I have everything off, I'm going to look at it. Maybe not so much fiberglass as maybe mix up a little bit of resin, kind of maybe some peanut butter and fill up any voids or anything like that just to kind of strengthen it up I don't know I'll notice a little bit better once I get all the carpet off like I said the floor's solid the carpet's coming right off it's not even like glued to it which actually is pretty cool uh, makes it a hell of a lot easier to come off right and it's not going to leave all that nasty little stuff on the bottom either so I don't know if this carpet was replaced like years ago or no, no, it's it's the original one because there's nothing different. So I, I don't know. It just wasn't glued down. It's just laid over. So that's going to be easy to remove it. But, but anyways, getting back to it. So that glue is going to be for along the edges. Then, here's my thought. I'm going to take this Rhino Bed truck liner. And I'm going to spray the floor all along the edge, all inside, everything. I'm going to tape it all off. And I'm going to spray the floor with the Rhino Bed Truck Liner. Now, the reason for my thought doing that is two things. One, it's going to like seal it up really good and put a nice uh, non-skid finish on it, right? Uh, it's going to be durable, um, abrasion impact resistant, you know, all that good stuff right there. And uh, anybody who has it on their trucks know that, you know, it's awesome in the bed of the truck. Um, so it's going to waterproof even more too so that's the other thing one it's going to seal it up give it a non-stick service and it's going to really make it waterproof even more on the floor which is great because it's a boat right everybody's in and out you're wet i was thinking of putting carpet back down but carpet just holds the water right to get mold mildew the water sits on it it stays wet it's going to rot up the floor again eventually right and you're going to deal with all these other carpet issues years later. So that was the other thought with the Rhino line. It'll be waterproof. It'll be great. It's going to actually leave a texture just like on the sun deck here or the swim platform, you know, that's built into the back of the boat here. So it's going to have this texture. So looking at this texture just like this, this color, like I said, a little bit little bit darker but not too much I mean you gotta figure you know the boats are 97 it's been in the Sun so you know however much it might have faded and stuff like that um, so it's pretty close to the original color anyways they don't really fade too too much they just oxidize but but the interior is a little bit of a darker color so it really matches with the original interior I know you guys were on an angle there, but you can see what I'm saying. So, so here's the thought with that. After this bed liner cures, instead of having a black bottom finished floor boat, right, which will kind of look like shit, um, I'm going to paint it with this Rust-Oleum, and it's a satin, so it's not a gloss. So it's not going to be real shiny and have that bright glossy sheen to it. Um, it's going to be a nice satin finish. Uh, with this ivory silk, which again pretty much matches the color of the interior of the boat. So the boat, the floor will be clean, it'll be rhino lined, waterproofed, protected, nice, grippy like finish, not too, you know, rough on the feet, like I said, just like on the, the platform here. Um, and then I'm going to paint it that color to match it. So I think that is going to look pretty pretty awesome pretty cool and I think it's going to do a lot for saving the floor so that's my thought on that um, what we also did was we added oil to the boat so we got oil in the motor now cleaned out the fuel tank so the fuel tank was almost filled with gas and it was a couple of years old I mean it was really gross and it separated and smelt like varnish uh, oniony just real disgusting smell uh, so we pumped all that out cleaned it all up uh, got that nice and cleaned inside the tank uh, put the swimming unit back in I took the fuel filter off because uh, that was garbage I had another filter but 
I think I gave it to the kids that took the Bayliner because they're both 3.0 Mercury outdrive uh, motors, so you know, it was the same filter. Uh, and I gave that filter to those guys. So now I got to get myself a filter, uh, which is fine. I put that back on there. I got some spark plugs. I'm going to get the change in the spark plugs. I'm going to pull that other seat out and then start uh, taking the carpet out of here. Uh, maybe we'll get some of that filmed. Uh, it's just me, so uh, if I could figure out a way to hold the camera up, you'll see it. If not, unfortunately, um, you'll see it after I get it all out. So hey, stick around and let's get to it. Alright, so we're under here. And we are making... Our first cut there. So, let's run it down here a couple times. Make sure we're cutting this. There we go. Yeah. that. Look at that. Yeah, that's going to work out pretty good. I believe so. Let's see, we have to cut that out there. Oh, so this is what I'm kind of looking at. So look at that nice fiberglass. Let's see, this lifts up a little. I kind of want to get down into the corner down there. Trying to hold the camera and do all this at once. So see, this comes up a little right there. Not too bad. So that there is gonna be where I'm gonna hit with the glue, stick it back down <clears throat> so that it stays. Might even get a little closer into the corner here. Uh, we'll trim it up a little bit better. But so that's it. That's what I'm doing. Unfortunately, I need my other hand, so we'll be back. Hey, what's going on? All right, so it's been a little while. Same day, but been a couple hours later. Uh, you guys know I got a bad back and all that other stuff going on, so um, we just do little by little. So this is what I got so far. Look at that. I have gotten the seats out the carpet out, the trim, see where I cut the carpet, so you can see I cut it in there and cut it right along the seam, we'll clean some of that up there, over here we've cleaned some of it up, like I said there was really like no glue on this floor, I mean this carpet just lifted right off, uh, there's some spots where the rubber of the carpet is still a little bit there, so, um, floor is fiberglass uh, but the cool part is unlike some of the other people out there you know a lot of people that do the mechanics get a lot of mechanic tools uh, which you know have to pick up stuff here and there um, but I was a contractor so when it comes to like tearing stuff apart um, physically it's a pain in the ass but got all the tools so what we have here is a nice trusty little floor scraper. Look at that. And that sucker makes short work of the floor. So you can see a little bit of stuff there. Look at that. short work. It's got a nice edge on it. So. That's scraping right down. Even right here, look at that. Look at that. Anything that was 
on there. That's just cutting right up. Dirt, grime, a little bit of glue or whatever. Some funk. Oh yeah, the dirt, the mud. Making the floor pretty uh, smooth. switch on. All right, so get a lot of that. Oh, there was a staple right there. Just pulled that right out, no problem. There's another one. There's another one. That one's folded off. It will have to. Oh, let's see if we can get it this way. Yep. <laughs> I'd be spinning over and getting it with a pair of pliers, right? Wow, so that did all right. Look at that. Look how smooth that is. So I'm just going to stick this right over here for now. I got my cord there and I got my little port of cable shot back, which will small enough but big enough to do this job take the big one out and it's kind of in the way this one's pretty nice and it's actually kind of brand new anyway so i don't have to put the camera down and see about second some of this up
All right. So, oh, we got that cleaned up. Let's take a peek. Yeah, look at that. Feel nice and clean. That floor came out. Still a little bit. I'm gonna sweep it up. I'll give it a quick sweep. Make sure we got some of the loose stuff off. So let's see if we can't use the broom and maybe sweep up some more hair. Just a little bit of dust. A couple of runaway ants. All right. Nice. This is going to be a little test. All right. So this is going to be a little bit of a test. So get down it. All right. So I got the uh, the bed liner, and what I'm going to do is. I'm just going to do a little area right here. I'm not going to get all into the sides and all over everything else because I want to tape everything up to make sure that, you know, I don't have any issues. But I just want to put a little bit down. I want to see what it's going to look like. Plus, I'm going to hose, hose this all out. I want to wash it all out anyways, but I don't really care for a little bit of area, you know. i uh, just kind of anxious, I guess, and curious to see what it's going to do. So, I got it shaking. Get the ball going a little bit. All right. Turn this one. There's one of those ones. Huh. All right. What the hell am I doing here? Why is it? Freaking face. What is going on? Why is this stuff not working? It won't even spray. Let's turn that away and let's see. Also might be screwed up. Let's see if there's something special I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Shake it, that's all. 18 to 24 inches away, back and forth, slightly overlapping each stroke. Spray the light coast. Right I don't know what the heck's going on. Why the end ain't working? Let's give it a good shake. Let's see what's up. Yeah, this. It's kept down there. I 
what the hell's going on. No good inside. Look at that. Maybe I have to get some of it out first here. There we go. I wonder if that's all gummed up. What's up, Danny? rubber let's not get that all over that See what it's doing. I got a little much on some of it there, so I'm gonna wait. It was a little screwed up in the nozzle, and I did get it free, and it took a little bit for it to spray right. And when it was spraying messed up, it kind of put a lot down in certain areas. And I was looking for like the texture in it, but uh. I mean, it's some textured there. There, it's just like rubber. I guess if you wanted texture, you could roll it out. So I kind of... That's my first time using it. So I wasn't really sure what to expect. So now that I see what it's got and what it did and... Cool. Oh, I might end up being short and needing another can. It was like 25 bucks, 26 bucks for one of those cans. <clears throat> but I really think it's going to be worth it. So I'm going to put some tape down in here and hit those edges. I mean, I don't really care about down there. It's storage anyways. So, you know, whatever. That cover's going to be on it. I'll fix that up and maybe even paint that cover or maybe see about later making like a, a wood one you know maybe out of some teak or or something like that but that's later on down the road um so anyways i do like how that went out and uh i'm gonna tape that off and um probably get the spray and the rest of it we'll see i don't know if i'm gonna do it today today is uh 
September 4th, the day before Labor Day, but it is my birthday. Yep, I'm 47 years old today, so almost made it half a century. Pretty dang cool. 47, huh? Wow. Awesome. Well, hopefully another 47 more. That'd be pretty great. Um, but hey, anyways, thanks for watching. Like I said, I don't know how much more I'm going to get on this today, so probably be in the next video. But thanks a lot. Again, please follow, like, share, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And for those of you that have been watching, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching the videos. Appreciate the support. And uh, hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy your Labor Day weekend. Spend time with your friends, family. And um, we'll catch you on the next one.